What's going on, my kids? Today is H. Paper Dray Tail Fox Fox. They come back to the brand new episode of SimCity 4 Foxwell. And in today's brand new episode, we're going to be starting the office park. And by the way, I know it took seven episodes for us to finally arrive here, but yes, we're finally getting to the, um, I think it's the railroad right next to the highway. Yeah, the railroad next to the highway. I don't know how the hell I forgot that. It's like sitting right there in front of me, but anyways, right about now. We got this um, railroad next to the highway and everything like that coming together, and this is actually going to form the final component of the main highway system of the entire Avaricia map here, so that is going to be absolutely beautiful right now. But anyways, we got a few other things going on right now, like for example, new railroads, new rail links, pretty much everything pretty good looking out here too. Obviously there were a few other things that, you know, kind of had to mess around with too, including some railroad bridges, because I'm not doing a railroad crossing over an avenue, that's... That is a bit ridiculous, okay? Uh, although I should have seized the opportunity and taken advantage of it to um, do an elevated rail system in downtown. That would have actually been pretty cool, but ultimately I decided to do a regular railroad system anyway. And obviously, you know, we're not going to have a central rail station. I don't know where exactly that's going to go yet. Probably a little bit south of downtown, for being honest here. I want to put the, rail the um, central railroad station closer to 825. But of course, we got a lot of bridges going over the Zerua River as well, which is kind of funny because we're right on the edge of the Zerua River, like literally just up ahead, maybe like a kilometer or two ahead. Like that's kind of a generous estimate considering SimCity 4 scaling system. And I'm not going to convert to miles, by the way. I know I'm from the U.S. I know we use um, stupid units here, as I like to call them. But um, I'm just going to say for the record here. Like, I personally prefer not to convert. I'm just too lazy to do it, okay? I know there's a conversion and everything like that. <laughs> and I know there's 621 in it, too, before anyone asks me about that as well, too. I know, I know. I can have fun with monosodium glutamate out here. We all know the joke out here. But no, I'm not going to convert it out here. One, because most people in this world use metric anyway, and I want to make this community as easily accessible as possible, no matter where in the world you are. Hence my outro at the end of videos out here. And two, like, it, there, there's just there's just too much math involved, okay? I know there's a lot of, like, you know, I know there's a lot of easy conversions. Again, I know there's a 621 involved. I just refuse to do it here for accessibility reasons, okay? That's just how I do things around here. So deal with it. But anyways, right now we're kind of adding the um, seawalls. We're kind of adding them onto the river too because um, the river's in a very blocky formation, actually. I feel like this was the wrong move, actually. I feel like I should have made the river a little more curvy and, you know, natural looking out here. Kind of like how I did with Kitsune Island. Although Kitsune Island, there actually is a, another reason why I'm doing things the way I'm doing them anyway. So, yeah. You could just say, like, you know, cities are getting a lot more unique of appeal. And that is going to be another goal that you're going to see long term on this channel. Every single city project, you know. We're gonna have like, you know, each a unique feel of its own. And yes, I do plan on taking on things like rural projects too. There already is a pretty large, like, you know, rural area in the southeastern regions of Avaricia too. So I should point that out. Largest city I'm planning there has a population, a projected population, I should say, of around 50 to 100,000. I, I could be wrong on it too, but um, let's just say the, city, the largest city in the southeastern parts of the region that I'm planning aren't really that big. So. Yeah, my rural viewers will get their, their kind of like, you know, chance in the spotlight as well, too. It just won't be coming for a long while because I want to have everything else, like, fully developed out here, too. You get what I'm saying? Okay, good. But I have split it up into multiple other kind of, like, sub-series out here, so that is pretty nice out here. But anyways, right about now, we got some other office buildings going up out here. Now, I'm trying to avoid the use of too high density. Like, I don't want to use too many, like... How do I want to wear this? High density office buildings, if you will. I don't want to use too many high density buildings in general because we kind of are outside of downtown at this point. I don't want to say outside of downtown, but I will say we are kind of like, you know, like out of the bounds of where downtown should naturally be. So that's why I'm trying to avoid high density buildings out here. Though I do sprinkle a few in from time to time, and that's going to be another thing you're going to be noticing a lot when it comes to um, buildings in this game, when it comes to how I build in this game. Like, this, this suburban design is very popular in, say, Europe out here. Like, I got a lot of viewers in Europe, and the suburban design alone is very popular over there. I've actually got a few contacts who moved to the region that I'm in, and I keep telling them, visit Carmel, visit Carmel, you know, because that's where a majority of my American suburban design inspirations could come from, because I'm going to be mixing a lot of densities, where possible, making mixed-use zones. I know it's not really possible in this game, but 
trust me, I do like my urbanism a lot. And yes, there's going to be a heavy focus on mass transit. I mean, you, you can take the railroad if you don't want to take the toll roads out here or the turnpikes. Honestly, I'm debating whether or not I should call them toll roads or turnpikes. I know they I know they technically mean the same thing, but I, I kind of like toll roads a little bit better. It's a little bit more, how do I want to word this, interchangeable, if you will. You could actually probably make the, um, you could probably make it work with turnpike, but I feel like toll road for a lot of people might be a little bit easier to understand. But anyways, right about now, more office buildings, more large scale apartments coming up out here and some high density coming up along the mouth of the Zerua River. And yes, we are that close to the Gulf out here too. Like Foxwell is basically like fully on the Gulf, much like Chicago is like sitting on Lake Michigan. And as a matter of fact, the um, city to the east out here too, which I've yet to name, because I brought back Kitsune Island, so I can't use the name I was originally going to use because it's in Kitsune Island. Um, we brought that back out here, so I'm thinking about making it a Miami-inspired. And then for um, the third city, which I can keep the originally planned name for, I, I could probably, like, work with, um, I'm trying to think of a good, like, you know, large city. Maybe, like, Kansas City could be a good inspiration for. I don't know. I'm just coming up with ideas for, like, the far future of the map. I don't see anything wrong with coming up with far future ideas out here. But anyways, we're working on the second part of the office district now. There's actually a fairly sizable office district. There's actually gonna be a third part immediately to the south out here. And, of course, you already know I'm gonna try to, um, put the exit ramp for the highway over here for A25. Or was it A25? I think it was A70 I was talking about the um, Grand Central Station being on. My bad, actually. I kind of mixed up the two major red main routes out here, so not exactly a good look for a little old me out here. That's not great. But anyways, right now you can see me trying to get the exit ramp. A very similar design to, um, and this is this may not be the final design, by the way. In case anybody cringes at the design I've got, this may not end up being the final design. I bulldozed this a couple times, but I am trying to get the um, exit ramp on A25 South out here because we already got one going into downtown on A25 North. So it makes sense for me to want to put an exit ramp on A25 South. So yeah, that actually does look pretty good right about now. There are a few ideas or ways that I can achieve such an effect out here. I, I feel like I've kind of identified it. So maybe in episode eight, you'll see a much more I want to say much more functional version of this with better textures and whatnot. That's kind of going to be my thought process on it. I don't know right now. All I know is that the textures were not connecting correctly and it was pissing me off out here. So yeah, that's definitely something that I'm going to have to um, think about right about now. And then obviously I can connect it a little bit better. There's a few ideas I've got and I'm starting to think about it. I can either use the road piece temporarily or what I can do is I can use the, um, what was it again? I can use the, um, street add-on mob but this the way that i've got this right now right before the end of the episode and we are approaching the end i just realized it by looking at the timestamps. this just isn't gonna do it. but anyways we are coming up to pretty close to the end of the episode if you did go on to enjoy you know what to do you had a reminder three minutes in gonna have another reminder coming up the end screen if you want to support me a little bit more you had instructions on how to do that at the five minute mark with the mid-roll ad until next time though take care bye for now and have a great day or night no matter where in the world you may be